All right, so today's project is this wheelbarrow. I did a retaining wall recently. And the this guy is what we used. I got this free off the curb a long time ago and clearly it's seen some days and it's super flimsy like the handles bend and so does the box when you have a lot of weight in it and granted we were overloading it but I'm gonna make it foolproof and just beef it up and see the legs are bent they both sway back and forth and it's just really bad so if you don't already have an idea what we're gonna do those tires are off of that dolly I'm not gonna use them they're too small but this trailer that was homemade that came with this new house we got has the right size tires I need to make this a two-wheeled wheelbarrow and then just beef everything else up and probably repaint it so stick around we're gonna make this thing look like new and super strong and easy to use was an old salt spreader or you know seat spreader whatever broadcast spreader and then they took that whole mechanism out and put this box on it turned it into a weird little cart thing so it's got the bolt all the way through the axle here okay and now that i think about it could use this axle too, but I didn't have the idea yet at all. So when I realized I had these tires, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, now we'll put on tire and wheel number two. strengthen it up because right now it moves and wobbles so that'll just add some cross support probably right here by the axle too just to kind of help with flex and then I guess all that's really left after that is paint I'm not gonna put a ton of work into this thing it's just a wheelbarrow but that's kind of the idea so Okay, so what I did was the rod I cut down to length and then I still thought it was too long so I cut it down a little bit more and then after that I drilled a hole in each side for the pin that holds the wheel in and then as far as the axle goes that's actually it the axles done which these wheels turn out perfect because that spacer pushes it out just wide enough it'll give it that extra stability I don't know how strong this axle will be. I don't see it bending, but it is possible, I guess, but we'll find out, I guess, over time. Uh, next, we're gonna do some bracing with two by fours. I know this wheelbarrow is gonna get heavier and heavier by doing this stuff, but that's okay. And then take a quick second to sand. I'm not gonna sand it very much and uh, throw some black spray paint or whatever I have left on there. So I just have a little nail. I don't have pins right now, and you don't really need pins when you got a nail. So I just stick her in there. The head is big enough that it won't come out. And then I just 
bend it over, just like you would a cotter or a, just a regular wing pin. Hold it. Transformation is done. Super, super easy to do. You just need a longer axle and two tires. Um, if you really wanted, you could use the old tire and then just get one more. But the thing is this axle or this like this hub assembly where the bearing is sticks out on both sides of the tire. So it would be a lot of unne unnecessary axle sticking out on this end to catch things or scratch your leg, whatever. So I just decided to opt to these since I already had them anyway and they're not costing me anything. But it's going to be worth it to not have people tipping wheelbarrows over all the time when you're loading them excessively like I do. That's probably about all I want to add to be lifting it in and out of the truck or dump trailer. But it already, it just feels just so much better. And the width of the um, tires is like perfect. I'm not going to paint the inside. I don't want to mess with it. It's just going to get scratched to pieces anyway. But like the two by fours and the whole underside, everything black. I don't care what gets over spray on it. The whole thing is just going to be black anyway. A little better view here so you can kind of see everything that goes on here. My goal is to make it look better than it did. So no matter how crappy or bumpy the paint job looks, the fact that it's going to be all one color is good enough for me. I have to get a, something else to get that off. I'm just going to call that good. And I probably got overspray my mowers, but they're old. That was quick and dirty, but... So, I'm not going to paint the inside, but, you know, it don't look great. We'll have to let that paint dry so it can kind of do its thing, but shiny. It's going to look decent. Much better than it did. Here is the finished product. All one color, two wheels there, added two by four there and there. This thing looks good. I mean, not really, because it's an old junky wheelbarrow, but it's strong now and has two wheels, so no more tipping over wheelbarrows for when you load them with an excessive amount of stuff. <laughs> they won't be getting tipped over or flexing or bending because there's two wheels now. So. Solved that problem and a fun little project. Now, if you haven't seen the shorts, this guy's getting a new drive belt.